Ooh, what is up my good people? The name is Pixel Love and we are back again with another episode of Earthbound. And this episode has been interrupted by Escargo Express because they're here to to give me some of the items that I requested for. In the last episode, we did a little bit of farming, we did a little bit of leveling up, and we got a whole ton of gold. Yeah, look at all that gold. Wait a minute, I just realized something. I slept in that hotel, and it didn't give me all my HP back? What a scam! You know what? We're gonna start this off. I thought we were gonna start it off by going straight in, uh, to the, whatchamacallit, the east of Tucson. To the restful peace valley i believe but i guess i have to order a pizza let's go with a small one within three minutes that seems that seems how she how should i say this it's a little too long for it to like be three minutes here in like real time but hopefully three minutes like in earthbound just passes by quickly i don't even know if i should stay like in the hotel uh for my pizza to come but yeah for this episode we've or i guess in the last episode we looked through the entirety of tucson and we figured out that we can't actually get to three so i am going to have to be going to the Restful Peace Valley, I believe that's what it was called, and the Happy Happy Village. So, I'm just gonna have to wait for this pizza to arrive. I don't know when it's actually gonna arrive. Three minutes, like I said, doesn't seem like a lot in Earthbound, but I don't wanna wait here for like three fucking minutes, you know? Okay, so I did a little bit of digging, and I found out that I do have to wait for three minutes to wait for a pizza, so I am not going to be doing that. And what is wrong with my analog? Just keep stopping for whatever God knows reasons. Wait a minute, aren't I... Actually, no, I'm going the right way. I'm, I'm tripping here, I'm tripping here. I really wanted to save Paula last episode, but because there's so much crap around here to do, you know, I kind of, I kind of had to stay behind. What the hell? Hello, Mock. Hey, would you look at that? He arrived. The Mock Pizza delivery. Forty-eight dollars? You're kidding me! Oh. Well, on the bright side, I got my pizza. A hundred twenty HP. <laughs> Holy shit! How much does this one give me? I should have just eaten the bread roll. I should have just eaten the bread roll. I'm keeping the pizza now. That, that's a good. Oh. Uh, I, I saw I saw that I saw that <laughs> I was like fuck I'm surprised I didn't get like ambushed And again, we're going back to this discussion. Why do these guys get to attack first? What do they have that I don't have? All right, what do we got here peaceful rest valley ahead proceed through cave Maybe I should have brought my exit mouse, but I didn't want to pay another $18 to Escargo Express. And of course he's gonna go right towards me. These guys have no class whatsoever. Like, who runs up to you? Someone who's like fucking three times your size. And three times your power, and you still think you're gonna win? Like, no. This is like if David actively wanted to fight Goliath. Like, no, Gol Goliath was the one who was like, yeah, I'll beat the shit out of you, David. <laughs> I'm just finally glad I'm able to play the game again. And also, what the hell is this music? 
Um de dum de dum. I'm hunting for mushrooms. I'm gonna collect a ton. This music sounds intense. It sounds like I'm about to get ganged up on. Oh fuck. Alright, you know what? I actually have a better idea. Why don't we do a little bit of PSI rocking? And where do these guys get to attack me first? I hate this so much. Why do these guys get to attack me first? Why does he use PSI Magnet on me? It makes no sense whatsoever. At the very least, I got more. I, I leveled up. Whoopee. Woohoo. I'm not an enemy, I'm just a regular mole. Would you like to know about how to survive battles? Sure. You may have noticed that when you've been badly hurt in battle, you may survive a mortal attack and still have 1 HP. If this has happened, it was because of your guts. Your survival may depend on your guts level. Also, more guts helps you get more SMASHING hits. Beyond guts, you should have noticed that it takes some time for damage to be taken from you. It's because of the rolling action of your HP meter. Oops, I mean your life. When an enemy deals mortal damage to you, but you defeat all enemies before your life is gone, you survive. This is all I know. Cool, I'm gonna just act like I know what I just read. See, I have this problem. I have this problem where I read a lot of things, but I just don't know what I'm reading. I read, but I don't, you know? Also, what the fuck? This poor dude is trying to get out of Happy Happy Village. Yeah, I, I just read. I don't pay attention to what I read. Like I said before, I read, but I don't. Also, what is this saucer, saucer ass looking thing? Little UFO. Oh my god. Get this man out of here. So, it looks like. I smashed the fuck out of him, but it also looks like these sprouts actually don't have 100 HP, which is what I thought they had. It seems like their break point is somewhere around 80 to 90 HP, and even then that's pretty um, conservative. What the fuck is this? For some weird reason, a pencil shaped iron statue is blocking the path. Yeah, I, I can see. Where the hell am I supposed to go now? I don't even have a map here. What the fuck? What the fuck, game? Where am I supposed to go? Hey, G, can you hear me? Can you talk? Okay, this place is actually really giving me the creeps now with its music. Oh man, it's going all over. Oh, fuck off! This thing really traveled all the way just to fight me. And he's really stealing my, my, my psychic points again. Fuck! This noise that the UFO makes is ear. It's killing my ears. Like, I have this thing at like. I don't know if I actually have it at 100. I had 100 volume, but it's awful to listen to. Yeah, where the fuck am I supposed to go now? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I actually don't know what am I supposed to do now. The fuck? This is the Apple Kid. I've just finished work on this great invention. Get over here as fast as you can. This thing is so cool. See you soon. Duff. I just came back to Tucson because I thought I would probably need to get over here, you magic butterfly. Get over here. Also, I see those fucking mushrooms over there. Shit. Oh fuck. I sh I should have I should have just not done anything. Alright, you know what? I said I was gonna go to the fucking hotel anyway, so what the hell? I'll just kill these guys right away. Let me 
mean, it's good XP. There you are, you little shit. I'm feeling really out of it because I've been working all night, but finally the pencil eraser is ready. This machine will eradicate all pencil shaped figures in just one second. It's incredibly powerful, just don't use it near a shop that sells pencil. Jeez, that's oddly specific. If I invent some other brilliant item, I'll call you. I am a mouse. My master applicant has been waiting for you. You started to nod off while waiting. Jeez, a pencil eraser. That seems oddly very convenient. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. I'll take it. Ness, I, Paula, I am Paula. Can you hear me calling you? Help, come and help me. I don't know where I am. Ah, oh, gee, thanks a lot. You hear water running in the distance? Yes, please help me. For God's sakes, I'm trying to sleep here. <laughs> Get away from my dreams. Oh, what's, up, my, what's good, my G? How about reading the newspaper before you go? Here's this morning's Tucson Tribune headline. The brave local hero named Ness who broke up the sharks has left on it. Reports that the mayor stopped the sharks have been proven to be false. Are you telling me the sharks are back in on it? God damn it. Well, that mayor better do something quick. or Because I, I ain't going back there. I ain't going back there for a long time, so. Alright, I'm just I ordered a uh, small pizza from Mock Pizza real quickly. That way I'll be able to just have just just have a 120 HP item that immediately heals all, basically my entire health. It's always handy to have one of those things. What's not handy is this stupid analog which keeps stopping me in place for some reason. Come on! Is this... Am, is, this can't be drift. This can't be Joy-Con drift. I don't know, it's just, it just doesn't want to move. You really thought you could beat me, huh, you little mushroom? Why the fuck would I want to catch a packet? Dude, come on. Why are there so many? There are like four of them! Alright, I'm gonna just bash you guys because I... Fucking hell. Because I value my... Oh, for fuck's sakes. Alright, you... Alright, you know... You know what? You know what? You know what? I was gonna say I value my psychic points a lot to where I want to keep them for... For healing, but you guys just pissed me off. Fuck you guys. Also, why didn't he die? What the fuck, game? I swear, sometimes... I swear, sometimes like the mother games just like fucking hate me. Also, why didn't those guys disappear? What the hell? I I I I just fucking can't. I I fucking can't. <laughs> I'm trying to beat these guys legitimately without PSI rocking, but they're always taking my PSI. That's bullshit. All right, pencil. Your toast. Damn straight. A stupid pencil eraser was able to erase an iron pencil statue. Fuck off. Now, where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to go up here or am I supposed to go down there? Uh, of course. <laughs> he just comes out of nowhere. Oh, Lord. Fuzzy pickles. Where the 
hell does this man come from? And better yet, where the fuck is my pizza? I called that in about like three minutes ago. Dude, what was that? What the fuck was actually that? <laughs> what the fuck was actually that? That actually scared me. Also, I don't know why, but it just stopped me in place. It's not like it could have turned around. It could have been my stupid analog stick. It definitely well it can be. Come on, G. Just, just fuck off. Are you kidding me? <gasps> that just took a big chunk away. And it said like, dude, can my stupid analog fucking work? And it said it was like, it did like 270 damage. And I was like, what the fuck? Right, I really love if there's like a magic butterfly nearby. Because this asshole keeps taking my PSI! I mean, I should let them take it. But like... Because cause they usually take like less than 10, which is what PSI rocking requires. But like... Okay, that's not one of those oak guys. But like, why would I not... Holy shit, they just spawn right there immediately. Like, why would I not use fucking... God, I need to... I, I should probably turn down swearing. I have... Why, why would I want them to take my PSI when I could just kill them all, like, immediately? Let's just use hypnosis. Damn right. That way I don't have to deal with his bullshit. I don't even know what brain chalk does, but I don't want to find out, honestly. Like 270 damage to me, and yet I only take like 30. I don't know what's going on. But if I actually like took 270 damage, like I would have been hella pissed. Another travel charm? Don't I already have one? I don't need it. Oh, fuck off. You're kidding me. Magic butterfly is right over there. You know, I'm actually starting to get worried about my pizza. I don't know what's taking the pizza guys so long. I'll take this. A luck capsule. Hmm. Well, I'm eating the bread roll. <laughs> so I immediately use the ketchup packet on the bread roll? Is that how it works? I, I didn't even ask to put it on there, it just did it aut automatically. It increases your luck. I mean, I would assume so, but I kind of don't want to use it right now just because there's an oak right there. I don't want to use it right now. Just, oh, there you are. Finally, I can have my goddamn pizza. I don't want to uh, use it right now just because there's so much like other shit that could potentially harm me. But I will take this magic butterfly with grace. I wonder who made the bridge impassable. Why would somebody do this? Crud. Okay, that's what I came down here for nothing. But I'll take this other gift. There is a croissant. A croissant. Damn it. Uh, yeah, you know what? F fuck this travel charm. I'm taking the croissant. Can I please get it first? Okay. 
How much health do I get back from it? 60 HP. That's actually really good. I could probably take it right now. Actually, you know what? That's what I am going to do. I'm going to take it right now. Yeah, because look at that. I'm now full up. There's a bomb inside. I don't know about that, Chief. Am I gonna need... What are these little thingy majiggies flying everywhere around me? <laughs> I didn't ask for this. Get out of my way. Oh, really? Fuck, I should... I should really use this cold remedy right now. That's a lot of XP though. Holy crap. PSI flash alpha. Hopefully it'll be useful. Thank you very much. I don't want to deal with the cold right now. Uh, where am I even supposed to go? Kind of lost here. Oh, come on. That sprout was so close on actually reaching me. You know what? I'm gonna just use some hypnosis. Fuck! Me! I shouldn't use my PSI so much. But after I did 28 HP of damage worth of me, I'm starting to regret not doing it. I want to be as far away from that sprout as I humanly can. Man, I really wish I had actually had a map. Why are there so many oaks? I don't want them following me. Fuck off. God damn, there's presents all around this area. I feel obligated to get all of them. Okay, so I only had to deal with this guy. Oh, come on. Why did I miss? Why did I get a cold? Please hit the damn thing. Let's go. He did not stand a chance. Magic butterfly. Please relax me. Thank you. I have to get over this cold really quickly. And the presence back there. That must be the happy, happy village. Finally. Where's the cave? Oh, there's shitheads over here as well. You didn't get me though. Oh, let's try PSI Flash. What does Flash do? Fuck. Fuck. Actually, let's let's go back for a minute. <laughs> Just do this. PSI rocking. I want both of these guys gone right now. Gone. Finito. Fuck. No. <laughs> Just give me the present. A cup of life noodles. What is a cup of life noodles? 
I have a friend who is unconscious. God damn. Actually, now that I'm looking at this, I should really use a pizza right now. Thank you very much. Dude, why is this thing here? Get out! Let me in the stupid cave. Holy shit. Alright, bucko, you're dead. That's what I thought. This is an immediate win for me. I don't even care if it's 1 XP. Alright, bucko, you know what? You're also dead. Let's fucking go. I'm sorry, is there another one of you? Not anymore. This is where I like to see immediate W's. What I don't like to see is if my stupid analog ain't working. Finally. This is the happy happy village. This is what's supposed to look like the goddamn fucking religious cult thingamajig. There you go. You're certainly stronger than while you're wandering around on it. Have you ever suddenly gotten the you won message? Yes, I did. Thank you very much. When you meet a weak enemy, that's sure proof. That's sure fireproof that you become stronger. You don't want to waste time fighting wimpy enemies, do you? No, I don't. Thank you, Mole. You understand. Eee, I don't even have a map here. One day, Mr. Carpenter received a revelation. He now speaks the real truth. Oh, no. This sounds like... Excuse me, tourist. I'm collecting donations to help protect the world from contaminants. Oh lord, this I'm not I'm not getting good vibes. I'm not getting good vibes here. I'm gonna be honest. Get over here. Am I gonna have to fight this hippie? Mr. Carpenter communicates with the divine, so he's able to deliver inspiring messages. Oh, whoever this Mr. Carpenter is, he definitely doesn't sound like a good guy. And I was waiting for that to actually happen. Insane cultist. Oh no. Guys, come on. Get 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 your head out of the gutters. No need to paint me. Guys, come on! How much XP do these guys give? Holy shit, they give me a lot. How many? 1,324 to the next level. So I'm gonna have to fight like two of them so I can get to the next level. No! Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go down here. Please don't respawn. Please don't respawn. Fucking hell, I just gave you a donation. No. Gone. Jesus Christ, lady. <laughs> you weren't lying when you say I'll be your shadow. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pummel more of these guys into the dirt so I'll be able to level up. Not gonna lie, these cultists give me like a lot of like actual KKK vibes. That's not good. We wanted to join the happy, happy religious groups. We're a married couple from Tucson. Oh, Lord. Our child is waiting for us in Tucson. As a souvenir, we'd like to bring him some happiness. You don't seem to understand, so I'll explain it to you. When the world is changed to blue, a peaceful country can be established. Do you understand now? No. Although you don't understand now, someday you will. You might misunderstand what I have to say, but Carpenter's voice affects one's mind like a hypnotist. This is the famous Happy Happyism Counseling Office. When you obtain happiness, you should visit the Happy Happyism Headquarters. It's located at the center of the village. Okay, so the center is where I have to go. I don't want her to follow me. 
I heard many footprints exist deep down in the East Cave. People call that place Little Put Steps and it makes them feel uneasy. You can imagine why. You get fresh eggs here? Nice! I'm honoring those who don't pay at the food stand. <laughs> I think those who won't paint everything blue are opposed to peace. I want them all to listen, even if it requires kicking their butts. My god. There's a place ahead that can't be painted blue. It's a strange and anti-blue place. I can't stop thinking about it, and I can't even go near that place. All our products are blessed. I am really scared for what's going on here. I can't even I can't even get the regular lucky go music here in the drugstore. The information on the back of the refreshing herb reads as follows. If you catch a cold or if you're ill, you can't seem to heal. If you're poisoned, if you're depressed, a refreshing herb is the real deal. I know, it seems pretty iffy, but you should give it a try. I'd rather not. Alright, this place is really giving me the heebie-jeebies after just staying here for a little while. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy a shit ton of... Please don't tell me I have the fr Come on, dude. What's going to happen now? Is he not going to do anything? Shit! <laughs> I didn't mean not to pay! God damn it! Oh, well, at least he died right away. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Yeah, fuck, fuck this! <laughs> I'ma just take all the fresh eggs. <laughs> I'ma just take all the fresh eggs. Actually, I could. Oh, I don't even have the banana. How much does the banana even heal me? About 25 HP. Okay. Well, I mean, these guys are in a cult. Like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> what do you want me to do about it? It's, it's just free, you know? That's why you don't trust people. That's why that's why peace can't exist. <laughs> because of people like me. <laughs> hey, but you know what? Like they tell me like my good side is aching right now. Like I'm not going to lie, a bit of it is, but like considering how much shit that I see over here, like I I I think I'll be able to sleep fine tonight, you know? I just realized, I probably, I could have actually eaten the fresh egg instead, because that gives me 80, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, I'll just wait for these fresh eggs to, you know, hatch like normal. Also, I don't know why, but I feel like I'm, like, very sluggish right now. Like, sluggishly moving. Like, how can you, how can you tell me that I've... How can you tell me that somebody like me, who has fought in like six to seven of these guys, like, I feel like I deserve something, you know? Blue, blue, I wish for everything in this world to become blue. You want to talk to Mr. Car Painter directly? You must think you're pretty important and boy, do you have a lot of nerve. Deserve to be struck by lightning. Jesus. Come on, guys. Old man. He's here. He's actually here. Ah, oh, poor little cultist. He asked for help, but no one came. Hmm, where did I hear that before? And let's go! Because nobody came, I was able to level up. Let's fucking go. <laughs> when I painted everything blue, as Mr. Carpenter said, my wife, who had run out of me, returned home. 
Oh, that's what I like to see. Some chicks, finally. Mr. Carpenter wants a girl. No, I don't mean it like that. I mean, he's looking for a girl who can be the high priestess of happy happyisms. I heard he's already got her. Is he talking about Paula? He has to be talking about Paula. That overweight kid helped me. We kidnapped Paula. You know, she's hidden in a mountain cabinet. Oh, oh, now I've done it. That you're one of us. You know I was joking. Let's forget about this. Yeah, gee, you kind of just, you know, confirmed my theory. Meager living farm lodgings available. What is... Just a plain old cow, but Mr. Carpenter's messages always move me. Even the cow is with Mr. Carpenter? Come on. We're all like one big happy family here in Happy Happy Village. Basically, our policy is to allow all family members to stay here in the village. However, if you're interested in learning about happy happyisms, you may make an exception and let you stay for $50. No. Never have I heard such disrespect. Get out and stay out. I just said no. Are you one of those people who do not understand the concept of somebody else telling you no? Because if you are, then my god, have you been living a horrible life. I am not sure doing? Friends? I'm... In Valley Divine... Divide, Divin, Three, Ding Ding. What the fuck? What am I reading here? Ah! Oh, oh, fuck off! Actually, fuck off. Okay, not gonna lie, I think I might end off the episode here just because I feel like if I'm gonna go and go see Mr. Cart Painter, I feel like there's gonna be a battle. And not only that, but there's also two caves that lead elsewhere. So, for the time being, I explored what I could of Happy Happy Village. So, hopefully, maybe next episode we'll finally rescue Paula. And there was something I actually did go and find out. I found out that there was this um, there's this equipable item called a hard hat, and I actually went to go retrieve it last. Um, Actually, no, not last. What am I saying? I actually went to go retrieve it, like, just about, like, a few minutes ago. And that basically, you know, just gave me better defense and whatnot, so I'm better defended. I also bought, like, an, a bat from, like, the drugstore and whatnot, so, like, I have better offense now. So I think I'm gonna chill here in Happy Happy Village for the meantime just because I can get a shit ton of money over here because I no longer have to pay $12 <laughs> so my name is pixel love if you like the video leave a like comment and subscribe memento mori and whatnot and I will see you guys in the next episode take care everybody